Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the cook. One thing you'll notice right off the bat playing him is that he's very slow, but he does have a lot of potential when it comes to collecting blood. This makes him more of a support character, so while he himself can't really keep up in chases too well or do too much damage, he will help your team do those things if you play him correctly. So jumping right into things and going forward with that mindset that the cook is a support character, I made a build that plays to those strengths, which is essentially a blood first build, level up grandpa as fast as possible, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like and then we're gonna take a look at some gameplay And I'll give you some tips as well with some things that I have learned along the way I do believe that he has the potential to be the strongest family member if he isn't already So let's go ahead and take a look at that starting with the attributes I completely maxed out blood harvesting and then I put the rest of the points into endurance So that way I can kind of get around hopefully a little bit faster And I didn't really touch the savagery because you're not really doing too much damage anyways for the perks The first one I have here universal donor allows you to collect more blood from the buckets. Siphon essentially boosts your blood harvesting attributes. And then Blood Banker allows you to carry more blood. And finally we have the Seek Ability Tree. So for level 1 and 2 they're not too significant. Level 1 I have to reduce ability drain by 30% and the level 2 I did the detection range higher. That way it's a little bit further that I can see them. I kind of care more about being able to see them from further away than having it drain not as fast. And then finally for level 3 I have highlighted victims marked for the entire family. This is very helpful as most people either don't communicate at all or don't listen to comms. They're by the battery both of them. Oh they just both go down the well. Did they both go down there? Grandpa shut up. Oh. They're by the battery. Battery. You idiots uh, good comms guys i asked if they went in the well he didn't answer me and now you talk so at the start of the match the victims tend to wake up grandpa very quickly sometimes it happens so fast that you don't even finish your opening cutscene. so typically speaking the odds are that they are going to wake him up relatively soon however with this build in my playstyle, it's actually like a 50 50 shot that either the victims wake him up as normal or i end up feeding him and waking him up something else that'll save you a few seconds at the start of the match is animation canceling picking up blood bags instead of waiting for your character to stand back up after you complete grabbing it if you use your ability and then instantly turn it back off, you can actually be on your way much quicker. I'm sure there's more efficient routes and ways to go about it than what I currently do, but it really just depends on the map and the way everything is positioned. So sometimes I will, you know, lock some doors while getting some blood bags. Other times I'll just get the blood bags and go right to grandpa and then worry about locking doors. It really just depends on where I'm at and where the bags are and what the situation is. Typically, if grandpa is not woken up, I am not too worried about getting the locks on the doors right away. But again, that's really just dependent on where you want to put your locks and how long it'll take you to get to those locks once Grandpa wakes up. On this map, the family house, I like to put my locks just on the two doors on the front and then the back door. So that's not super out of the way or anything like that. And from there, we just have normal cook gameplay. So we're just kind of running around collecting blood, smacking people back into the basement if they come up or you know taking advantage of what opportunities that we have as far as getting damage in you do obviously get blood for doing damage and especially getting kills as well so if you can get one definitely take it i don't really chase or go into the basement too much at all essentially i'm just hanging around grandpa defending him from any of the victims and collecting the blood as the buckets fill back up once grandpa is leveled all the way up i'm pretty much just standing next to grandpa and then holding down my seek ability on anybody that i can see obviously this is situation depending on how leveled up grandpa is where they are at if they're at an exit obviously I need to kind of act and maybe go after them if you have competent teammates you should just be able to defend grandpa and just mark enemies for your team to see the combination of level 5 grandpa making it so the victims can't hide and then you also with that seek level 3 ability allowing your teammates to see where you're marking it pretty much means that the victims are always going to be visible and your team should be able to clean that up pretty easily if your other two teammates are able to keep the pressure on the victims and even help out by maybe getting a kill and helping feed grandpa you can get level 5 very quickly and just one final thing i want to add as far as progression goes is using the seek ability it's actually an extremely good way to get experience if you just hold it down on someone even if they're already marked if you just keep marking them over and over and over again you get xp each time you do that i've noticed a lot of scores are like 1000 to 2000 points i think you can easily get like 3000 4000 maybe 5000 xp if you just focus on doing that obviously that's not a productive way to help your team i wouldn't recommend doing that unless you are at that level five with grandpa and you are just trying to provide recon for your team but it is something to note i haven't really tried to go too crazy with that so far but i'm certain there is potential there so i'll leave you with the rest of the game 
gameplay here. Let me know what you think of the build. Let me know if you try it out or have any recommendations to improve it. Or maybe you have some other builds that are completely different that you think are way better. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys later. Got another. We'll get this sorted out. Found her. She's out back in the back garden trying to lock the door. Looks like she's trying to take the well, I think. Nope, she's dead. I got her. 